EG 121 Highway Design and Surveying, Video Lecture 2, Introduction to Highway Design and Design Speed. So in this week we're starting looking at highway design, um, which is going to start to link up with the surveying quite quickly. The learning outcomes uh, for this session are to recall a typical highway cross section and start using the design manual for roads and bridges which is the design manual that is used by all highway engineers in the UK um, to design highways to design roads and underpinning all of this is the idea of design speed how fast is reasonable for a given road so that's what we're looking at uh, this week so typical road this is actually the M4 on the approach to Fabian Way on the approach to the university if you take a cross section across the M4 at this point, we can compare it to this cross section here for a typical highway. And the components are the main carriageway, which is the active lanes of traffic, the central reservation, the hard strip, the hard shoulder, and the verge. In this case, we're on a bridge, so we haven't got a verge, but on normal ground, you would have an, a verge in addition. The road hierarchy and carriageway widths gives you the dimensions for any given type of road. So the most basic, the most common is the S2 road, a two lane single carriageway. So one lane of traffic going in one direction and then another lane going in the opposite direction. There's also a wide single uh, carriageway. The only difference is the width. So the carriageway width of um, an S2 is 7.3 meters and carriageway width of a WS2 is 10 meters. Uh, going up in uh, the hierarchy then we've got D2AP, D3AP which are all-purpose dual carriageways and the D2M, D3M which are the motorways. You can also get D4M, D5M. Um, note that the carriageway width remains the same. The width of a single lane is always 3.65 meters. So 7.3 is two lanes of 3.65 metres. You need to make sure that you know these. So make sure you know what these mean. Highways need to be safe and they need to be efficient. They need to be able to be driven on safely and uh, they need to not cost too much money. And highway projects can be very, very expensive because there is a lot of earthworks involved. And earthworks are some of the most expensive types of work that you can carry out on any construction project. So when we look at route design processes, we look at many things, but these four principal ideas. First of all, the efficiency of the route. And that is mainly to do with earthworks. Minimization of disruption to the surrounding ra uh, area, prediction of traffic volumes, and also the horizontal and the vertical alignment of the road based on design speed. And it's this last point that we look at in this course. So now we're driving along a road which is north of Swansea. It's the A4067, it goes up through the Brecon Beacon National Park. And have a think about which are the road factors that impact what design speed would be appropriate for this particular road. We've got the visibility for one thing. The visibility in this case is more severe in the horizontal direction. A horizontal alignment is quite restricted at some times. And when you can't see very far round a bend, you are pushing drivers in a precarious position. If they can't see far enough around the bend, then they're not able to stop fast enough when there is an obstruction, especially here. This section here is quite bad. So visibility is one of the underlying design criteria for design speed. Consider also whether, if this was a dual carriageway, whether it's a single carriageway, that also has an impact on um, the appropriate speed limit for this road. The number of access points, if there are several properties, commercial properties, up and down the road, 
with a lot of traffic going in and out, so that would also affect the appropriate design speed. So we've got factors like visibility, layout of the road, uh, access points that affect um, what would be an appropriate design speed. All of these factors are taken into account when selecting a design speed for a given road. We have to take account of the mandatory speed constraint and in the UK this is 60 miles per hour for a single carriageway and 70 miles per hour for a dual carriageway. The layout constraint and the alignment constraint. The layout constraint is to do with points of access and the road cross section. What is the verge width, verge width of the road cross section itself? The alignment constraint is to do with the bendiness of the road, the visibility due to the curvature of the actual road itself. We've got two equations, one for dual carriageways, one for single carriageways. The one for single carriageways is, is more onerous because the reduced cross-section of the single carriageway means that there's more risk of there being an issue with design speed for single carriageway roads. So let's look at an example of how to apply this design process. We're looking here at a six kilometre single carriageway road. We're going up from Blaengwech along this road here, down, 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 to the south, to the junction over here. The road has got a, sing a standard verge width and it's got eight access points. Access points are going to be commercial access points, um, places where there's expected to be more traffic. Residential access points wouldn't count in this process. So based on the information and based on the geometry, which we can analyse, we can now determine the design speed. We need to consider the mandatory speed restriction, the layout constraint, and the alignment constraint. The mandatory speed limit for a single carriage road is 60 miles per hour. So that's our upper limit. That's our upper ceiling for speed on this road. The layout constraint, we use this table. You should by now know which uh, column we're looking at here. We're going to be looking at S2. S2 is a single carriage rate road. Unless it specifies specifically a wide single carriageway road, always assume that single carriageways are S2 types. And unless otherwise specified, assume 7.3 width, because a 6 metre carriageway is um, fairly unusual. We know we're looking at S2 road. We know we're looking at 7.3 metre wide carriageway. And we're given a standard verge width in the question, so we know that we either have a numeric value for LC of 23 or 21. We can work out which one it is because we have this little formula for low, medium and high access. We've got eight access points over six kilometres, therefore we've definitely got a low um, value for access points and that gives us a value of 21. So we've got our first value for that table in order to work out design speed. The alignment constraint, we've got a single carriageway road so we need to consider this equation and visibility we can estimate if we consider the bendiness of the road. So I've measured all my straights and I've measured the deflection in each direction. And that will give me a value for bendiness, which is the sum of all the angles divided by the distance. That's bendiness B. Then I can work my visibility value from this equation. VW is the verge width. And B is the bendiness that's worked out in this equation here. That gives me log to the base 10 visibility of 2.67. My visibility value is 472. Plug that into my equation and I get my alignment constraint value. So the only real work is in working out what the deflection angles are along the road.
Once you've got that, you can work out your bendiness. Once you've got that, you can work out your alignment constraint. Opening our table for our design speed table, we can now work out what the design speed should be. The layout constraint value was 21. So there is a line marking here. The red line here marks the value of 21 for the layout constraint. And the alignment constraint was 6.87. So I've drawn a line at approximately at that value there. It's actually a little bit too far to the right. But it doesn't matter in this particular instance because it gives me the same design speed. Where those intersect, I go horizontally along and it gives me my design speed of 100 kilometers per hour.